What's up guys? This is your boy Rusi on the free to play No Shards opening. I'm sorry I'm lying because right now in Raid Shadow Legends we're gonna be opening all my shards. All the shards I hoarded for the last month that have been itching like hell inside of the portal, okay? I've been wanting to open the end. Sometimes I went like, one, please, just one, you know what I mean? I'll open just one, it's gonna be okay, but no, I did, I did hoard them, I did held on to them, and now it's time, because after this, it's gonna take two months before I open more shards, okay? So, directly from Astoria, Queens, New York City, that's a short opening, and we're gonna do it right now. Oh, and by the way, I probably forgot, but not far enough. Have you guys been having a great day? I hope you guys do. And by the way, you guys are awesome. If I'm the first person to tell you that, I hope more people say that because you guys are. You're here with me and I really appreciate that. All right, so I've been, oh my God, I, I, I'm really hoping for some of the best champions, but I'll make it work with whoever because after that's two months, okay? So, Let's take a look. I don't know. Uh, let me open the primal first. I mean, this thing's being niche. And, and by the way, I know a lot of people like, oh, you should wait to open those shards. You know, we're probably going to have something coming up and you're going to need them. Well, not really, because like I said, I, I, I start this account to actually go for one month. So you guys know how many shards you can hoard on a brand new account. And then later on, you guys are going to be seeing like, hey, uh, can I get more, you know, like in the second month and so on. Because the truth is, a lot of times if you guys are free to play, you have to hoard shards so you can compete on champion fusions and stuff like this. Okay, that's the only way for you to actually get fusion champions. Um, and it is what it is. I mean, it's okay not to spend. All right. I'm not saying I never spin. At least those accounts I don't. And when I do, I'm a very low spender. So let's see. Oh, by the way, let's go back two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Swear to God. So just so we have an idea how much we hoarded, I was able to hoard four sacred shards. One of them was actually from the Xena um, tournament, whatever they call. Uh, one primal shard. Uh, it was because I actually qualified, uh, I think I was first place in two uh, tournaments and I got like 75 from each. Yeah, that's why I have like 50 left uh, quartz. Voids, that was pretty much like campaign. And I believe one of them may have been a, not a tournament, but a challenge or something. And six, five ancients, I almost got 70 total. And the reason is I'm kind of stuck on the Nightmare on campaign, and that's why I couldn't get the five uh, Ancient Shards. Anyway, let's go, let's go. So, and by the way, let me know in the comments, uh, who would you have picked instead of what I picked? So, so I, I feel, and that's because everybody seems to want her, I, I'm going on this one for her. No, you know what? That's just one shard, one shard, okay. So let me pick someone else. Let me pick this dude. And the reason is, so Bivald the Torn, I have a Provoke, what is great. Another Provoke with Strength Leech, Leech. Attacks all enemies, damage increased by 5% of each, each debuff on each enemy. Plus heal all allies, 20% of damage inflicted, and place a shield, okay? And decrease the damage take by all allies from enemies under provoke the buffs by 15%. So I really need that. Uh, I'm not saying he's the best, but then again, I only have one shard and I may kind of like change a little bit, you know? And that's a. Okay, so now for the epics, I will go with Vagoth. Basically, it's because whenever this champion is attacked, he was all allies by 50% of the damage received. Um, and 25 for boss attacks. I'm really looking. Now, Coffee and Smasher does the same. No, uh, oh, Coffee and Smasher, I'm sorry. Uh, Burgot does kind of the same, 
but you get 20%. Now, main difference between the two, two is one is HP, and maybe the other one's HP as well. Yeah, they're both HP. So, yes, I'm going with this guy. If you guys think I should have a chosen different, I know Tarag is amazing. Uh, I may put him for the Sacred Shards. Just see what happens. All right, so come on. One Primal Shards, guys. All right. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Spirit Host. Farmable champion from the Primal Shards. You know, that that's what you expect to happen. I mean, <laughs> who am I to get anything good, right? Can you imagine a mythical champion? Not for this account, I guess. Not for any of my other accounts either. All right, so Sacred Shard. You know what? Let's skip. Let's go to Void. <coughs> and then from Void, we're going to jump to Ancient. And then we're going to finish with Sacred. Sorry. Sorry, I'm new on that, okay? I'm new opening shards. That's a new thing for me. All right, so Void. So... I, I had just randomly put this guy. I gotta go for Krisk. I don't have him in any of my accounts. I also don't have the other guy. I, I, I think I have like two Voids Legos on my accounts, maybe. And I'm gonna go for the Cackler. Plundar. I don't know. I'm gonna go for a Cackler because I do have Plundar in my other account and I never used him really so uh, maybe he's the best like I just I just never used okay it's my bad all right my bad I swear he he's probably the best champion in the game all right so five shards first shard come on come on <laughs> amaranthine skeleton uh yeah let's just go not even talk about it. Yes! Yes! Cold Heart! Cold Heart, the Lego in disguise. There you go. There you go. Fire Knight, you're dead, dead, dead. Okay. Sorry. Kind of happy in here, okay? All right, next one. It's funny because I was watching on the... Uh... Okay. Eh, Vanguard. So I was watching on... MTG Jedi, so he was opening shards, and this dude, hundreds of shards, right? Never had had a cold heart. He opened dozens of shards at least. I, I don't remember the numbers, and he didn't got a single cold heart. So, yes, that was a win right there. I want a Lego, but that's a win. All right, next shard. And Centurion. Okay, last one. Lago. Come on, guys. Nope. Confessor, come on. I mean, I'll probably use 90% of whatever I'm pulling right now, okay? Because I have to remember, I mean, I will not really have another chance when I'm pulling um, only mythical, uh, only mystery charts for the next two months. So I, I may hold then for as long as I can until I figure out where I can place them or if I really don't need them at all. All right, so let me see. Uh, t -t -t let me, so I don't have to stop really quick, let me just move some of those guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I don't have enough silver to uh, open so much stuff, okay? So I have to play with what I have space-wise. All right, so, woo, woo, woo. Okay, guys, so, tough choice. Now, the, 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 the hardest choice right here, right? It's gonna be, do I take to rag, right? One enemy, 30% chance plays, 50% decrease attack, which is great, I really need that. The most clan boss, has a provoke, a light protection that I don't have and reflect damage. So, on my free to play on the Hell Hades uh, competition, I chose Miscreated Monster. 
what pretty much saved my uh, my life. <laughs> Sorry, saved my life on with the uh, light protection. Okay, now this. That's rough, man. And he does poisons. So I do have Kaioa's Poisoner, but... And then... The other option... Is that a light protection, too? I'm sorry, I should have done my homework prior. Come now, sorry. Oh, you've been very patient. You've been very patient. Alright, yeah, uh... You know what, Voga? <sighs> okay, I gonna go for Volgoth, and on the next one, when I do the sacreds, I'll go for Trag. Okay, yep. And here, oh my God, let me remember Harima, Harima, Harima. Man, so, no. Oh, my God. Okay, Rathmatab, too. Right? Right? With block damage. But it's, it's single. Reflect, increase resistance. Okay, Harima. Boo. It is what it is. Let's see, guys. Come on. First five. You know, it sucks. It's pretty much coming out stuff I can actually farm. All right, second one. Let's go, let's go. Let's go quicker. Sorry. Anointed. Anointed. I'm annoyed. It doesn't rhyme. It looks the same, but it doesn't rhyme. Fury Stroker. Yeah. Don't want to go there. Bolts. Perforator. So, Perforator and Boltsmith in all my accounts, this dude's just come up. Okay, sucks. Alright, last one of the single single openings. <laughs> Valerie. I'm not saying she's horrible. I'm just saying she's not good. Alright. Allure! Yes. So, uh, if you guys are following my free-to-play... Uh, my other fridge play, the competition one. I actually pulled a lure. Very lucky with that. And the most because uh, I was between miscreated monster and a lure. And I actually picked miscreated monster. And then I pulled a lure like a week ago. <laughs> so perfect choice. Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm not saying. I mean, Master Butcher, not a bad. Uh, not a bad one. Um, all right, let's see what's next. Hey, not too bad. A lure came up, and I picked right. I saved. All right, come on, poor Gator. This guy too. Soul Drinker. Not a horrible champion. Not a great champion, but for some reason, it's better when the game's playing against you. Okay, so the Chris bomb, three times at random, bomb the mud. You know, bomb's not bad. I'll take him. Uh, I can probably use him a lot more than I think, and you know, most because I'm not opening shards. So stuff that I may not see for a while. Just make sure. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, I think it was MTG Jedi that forgot. So I need. Wow, two. Give me a nut. Come on. All right. Look at that. Catcom counselor. So, I may not have him. So, my main account, I don't know a lot of stuff I have because if I don't see a need, if that's not a champion I'm actually looking for, I sometimes just forget I even have them. So, increase attacks, small. No, it's not the small one. Yes, it is. So, one enemy three times. I'll take it. 
heal this champion 20%. And tends up with two random allies. Okay, that's not bad. I like I really like that. It is in a four turn cooldown. And ascended three random allies. So yes, I can see a lot of use for this champion. And the other ones. Another one I I do have. I just don't find use to him because I have other champions that just work better with my teams. And trust me, my teams are horrible. For some reason, I don't have some of the ones that would create a great synergy with them. I'm having better luck in the future plays on that. Anyway, shields, continuous heals, what is great. All allies, all allies, that's, that's a name game. That's going to help me a lot on progression. Tax on enemies, sleep the buff. Sorry about that. All right, I silenced my phone. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Um, Petrifia Rock Rock Roof. Uh, so she's weird because, and I got two. <laughs> she's a great poisoner. Um, what we didn't expect to happen. I mean, she's good, and I definitely gonna use her. Sometimes, weird enough, I've been finding that saving more than one in the most of my other account has helped me because. I don't have other options, so and I just don't go and plant six star then. Five star, they're gonna help me in a lot of areas and I can always use as food. Sometimes not even five star, like four star, good enough. Alright, let's see what else. Key on this Woo! Chancellor Yasmin, don't know her that much. Let me take a look. But Kalon. Love this guy. Uh, he works really well. I have a few free to plays. He's really good. Perfect Veil, decrease speed, tax enemy two times. Tax all enemies. Tax all enemies is great because you can put him, you can put him in the stun set if necessary, depending of other champions you have, and use him to stun. Maybe not him, but just the ability of attacking all enemies. It's great. And Chancellor, I, I'm i not sure I have her, to be honest. I may, I just never used. Uh, extra hit, no active skills, seen that way too many times. Heals and alive by 40% of... So she's pretty much like a pumped up War Maiden. Yeah, she's the ultimate War Maiden right there. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Okay, cleanser, but four turn cooldown, not great, but not horrible. All right, what is that? Twenty more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Madicas, sorcerers, Solaris, tribal call. So I pulled her. I haven't used her at all. I pulled her. I actually used this food on my other free to play, and catacomb counselor. Has a 50% chance of place a 25% attack, increase attack, eh, attacks one enemy, but at least is in the U1. Attacks one in three times, I like three times. Heals this champion by 20% of the damage inflict. Teams up, another team up, what is that? Like, I, I just feel like playing all the time. When you start pulling champions, they pull the same type of champions. Go figure. All right, I believe that's the last 20. Come on, give me a Lego. Hexia, yes, yes, very good. Boranger, Borangri, great champion. Okay, I can't complain about my epics. And I can probably really build teams around those guys. Attack one enemy, has 40% of play, 6% big version of the crease defense increase attack big version and a sense attacks one enemy heals this champion by 15 percent of the damage inflicted increase by 10 percent for each buff of on this champion 
place a 30% increased speed buff on this champ for two turns. Great. All right. So, yep, that was it. <laughs> no Volgoth. All right, so Sacreds. All right, last four. I, I'm really hope for a Lego because if not, unless it's a fusion, unless uh, that I probably am not going to be able to get there. Or, you know, if that's a login champion, I'm not going to get anything like that for the next two months. So, all right, girl, Gail, and I'll go with Hina again. I do have a poisoner, so. All right. Four. Come on, guys. Umetogi. Do I have her? I don't know. Look, my main account has. Okay, not compare myself to like Cobru, those guys. No, it has a huge amount. I actually don't even know how they keep track of their champions. I think that's why most people, you just see them fighting with the same champions all the time. It's because you get your guys and everybody else like, hey, may throw in and figure out if that's a new champion. Wow, it's really good. I gotta use him, but then you're subbing. Everybody else just stays in the bottom. It is what it is. But one enemy two times, I love double hits, triple hits. One enemy two times again. And has 20% to flick crit critical damage if this champion is under a veil or perfect veil. Have you guys noticed, like, a lot of the champions I pulled today, everything is with veil, perfect veil. Uh, Plarian, Plarian, you're doing that on purpose. I know. All right. Next one. Come on, guys. Lego. I can feel a Lego. I didn't. Jarang. Come on, Jarang's garbage, isn't it? Again, I rarely use those dudes. One enemy, two times. Three times at random. Okay. Uh, at least he doesn't... Eh, not as book heavy as a lot of those epics. I'll find use for him, I swear. I, I'm, I doubt I'm going to be using any of those guys as food. Alright, come on. Lego, Lego time. Tashara. One enemy, increased defense. Weaken. Well, at least I got a weaken. And reviver. I can use a reviver. Okay. Hey. I'll take that. Come on. Last chart. Come on, guys. Everybody. Let's do it. Come on. Close my eyes. Close my eyes. Close my eyes. Can I open my eyes? Volgoff! No Legos. No Zilt Zero Nada. No Legos. No Legendarios. Yeah. But, hey, I got Volgoff. Okay? I got the one I had picked. At least one of them. Not too bad. Maybe in two months I'm going to get a Lego, right? Hey, guys. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. Uh, which one of those champions do you guys think is the best? Uh, do you think I made I make any, any mistake like saying, hey, this is a bad epic, and you guys are like, oh, my God, this guy, that's a best epic. Mister, mister, let me tell you something. This guy, best epic in the world, okay? You don't know what you're talking about, huh? All right. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, and if you know, like, best sets to use some of those champions, best way to put them in the arena or clan boss, who do you guys think the clan boss team should be from what you guys saw that I pulled? Let me know in the comments, all right? Anyway, thank you very much. Like I said, appreciate you guys being here. And as always, I'll see you in the game.